The physics man is back. Yeah. Good day, boys and girls. How do you feel today? All right, now, the last time I remember dealing with you, explaining resolving a force part one. That was when I was talking about how an object uh, is put on an inclined plane. All right, you remember that. But today, we are dealing with resolving a force from a slightly different angle. As you can see in this case, it is a boy pulling something at an angle. All right, just a reminder of a few things as we approach studying physics. Now, I remember some of you telling me that physics, uh, just too many formulae to, to apply, to remember. How can I remember all the formulae? So, my answer to you is this. To understand physics, to unlock the doors of physics, you have to understand concepts. It is not a question of memorizing facts, memorizing formula, all right? but it is more of understanding it. It is more of how to get the formula. I'll explain to you today uh, in this particular question. So let us remind ourselves again. You want to do well in physics? There's no shortcut. Rehearse. Answer questions like what we are doing today. This is a 2003 question. Paper 1, question 8. All right. All right, let's read it. The diagram shows a box being pulled by a boy. What is the acceleration of the box? Now, this question is actually very challenging because there are two concepts involved here. One is the concept of finding out these 30 newtons, what will it achieve in terms of moving the, the box to the right-hand side? And after that, we have got to calculate the acceleration. All right? Allow me to explain one concept by one concept. One by one, I'll do it. Now, before I even explain anything, let us look at the video clip. And the video clip will show you some of the main concepts uh, in this particular resolution of a force. Let us look at what is happening. I am pulling the boy at an angle, just like the in the question, where the boy is pulling the box at an angle. Alright, I'm going to let you see it again, but I'm going to do it step by step. I'm about to pull the boy at an angle, alright? And as I pulled him, what happens to the boy seated on the table? It's very clear. Any response from you? Okay, some of you showing me the action. You notice that the boy is actually lifted off the table. He is lifted up from the table, upwards. There is a vertical force being produced. And what else? I'm sure you notice that this boy seated there, he was being pulled and he moved in a direction towards me, the teacher. So there is another force to the right. Okay. So let me explain to you step by step again actually what happens when we have a scenario like this. Now this is a very good picture for us to understand. Where I take away the boy, you can see it clearly. All right. Now I'll explain it step by step in terms of the forces involved. Now, firstly, I would recommend that you draw a triangle of, uh, just draw a triangle here. Then I will explain more closely. Okay. So, 30 Newtons is the original force. I'll highlight it. So, as I pull the box at an angle of 60 degrees, with a force of 30 newtons, what will happen to this box? Now, this box, basically, it will experience two forces. One is 
this force, I call it F, it will move towards the right. Now, another force that we get, that we can produce here is that there is a force, I call it G, is an upward force. But in this question, we are not concerned about G. We are concerned about F. So this is what is meant by resolving 30 Newton's force in the direction of F, horizontal moving to the right. So here we need to do some mathematics. And I would recommend all of you to label your triangle, I will call it A, B, C. So as you work out your answer, it's very neat and it's very clear. So what would I say here? I would write down from triangle ABC, from triangle ABC, what do I have? I want to calculate F. So F, I divide it by AB, I divide it by AB, which is 30 Newtons. What do I get? F divided by the hypotenuse, it is cosine, the cosine of 60 degrees. Ha, ah, it's very easy now. So after that, I work it out. What is F? F equals to 30 newtons. I multiply it by cosine 60 degrees. Okay. And you know that the cosine of 60 degrees is half. So after working out from your calculator, F is equals to 15 newtons. I write it on this side. My final calculation, F is 15 newtons. So what is my first point? What I'm saying is that never, never try to memorize this formula. Because if you try to do that, you'll be bringing trouble to yourself. There are too many formulae. In this case, I'm teaching you actually how to get the formula rather than memorizing it. All right? So it is very simple. Just construct a simple right angle triangle. All right. Now let's just, let us go on to the next part of the question. So we understand resolving a force. And the next part of the question is, you look at the diagram up here. I have an object, 4 kg. So what do I have here? My force here is 15 newtons. And what do I have here? 5 newtons, the friction. Alright, 15 newtons here and 5 newtons to the left. So it is like two forces. I always like to ask you, my students, one question. <clears throat> you have 15 newtons. You have five newtons pulling, tug of war. My question is, who wins? Who wins in this tug of war? Very simple, isn't it? Of, of course, you say, Uncle, 15 newtons. That is the force that will win. All right? So, 15 newtons acting opposite direction, five newtons. What is the net force? What is the net force? Okay? So, the net force is... What is the net force here? It is 15 newtons minus 5 newtons. So what do I get? I get 10 newtons. Okay. So this 10 newtons is the net force that we are having. And this net force will accelerate the object. And of course, all of you will remember that this 10 newtons, the net force, will give me M A. Alright, and I want to calculate the value of acceleration. A equals to 10 newtons divided by M. Look at the question. M is 4 kilograms. 10 newtons divided by 4 kilograms. So this gives me 2.5. Now, what about the units? I'm sure you will tell me, Uncle, it is Newton per kilogram. You are correct. <clears throat> and one Newton per kilogram 
is also equals to meter per second. The unit is the same as meter per second per second. Okay, meter per second per second. That is the acceleration. So to cut a long story short, what have we done today? First and foremost, we have actually resolved the force. Okay, this is now a summary. Look at this slide. We are given only this 30 newtons at an angle. We need to find F. So we have resolved the force. We have calculated F is 15 newtons. And after that, we go to the next part of the story. We want to calculate the acceleration of this object. So we use net force equals to MA and we will get what we obtained just now, acceleration 2.5 meter per second per second. So boys and girls, go back, look for questions of a similar uh, kind, all right, practice, and then you will understand these concepts more and more. Okay, so uh, I'm sure once you have understood this, then uh, you, will, you will do very well in your physics. And if there's any question, you can ask your friends or you can ask your teachers, you know. And uh, after that, I'm sure you will improve in your physics. Thank you very much. Okay, may God bless you.